Hi, I'm Rick Bacon, Chief Executive at the Victoria G Systems. I'm here today at the City of Gil Gilbert World 22 uh, with two people, uh, Jeff from the City of Gilbert and Joaquin from a company called Biobot. And we've been demonstrating to a large number of visitors today a bio treatment system for removing nitrates. So Jeff, first to you, uh, what drove your interest in holding a demonstration here? Uh, what was behind that? Well, the water department with the town of Gilbert knows we have nitrate issues on nearly every well, right? And we have a few of them that are much more highly elevated than the others. But the town has been reluctant to treat nitrates. We, we just use blending strategies. We didn't treat it because they don't want to go with an RO system. They don't want to go with an ion exchange system because there's there's a lot of waste and there's grindy bad waste. And they don't want to deal with that. They don't want their operators to have to operate them. So the town knows that there is a biological treatment process and they're going to find the right fit, but they still haven't found it. And they're hoping that BioBox is that answer, which is why we looked at doing a pilot treatment plan. So we've got some really good data that has been responding amazing to the stress testing that we put on it. So we're almost there. We just need a couple more months to finish out our pilot testing program. there. Thank you, Jeff. And I, you make a very important point. So, to you, Martin, uh, what do you see as the advantages for, for Jeff and his colleagues of fire treatment versus reverse osmosis? Because this is really a critical decision making point in terms of how cities go forward with treating the natural. Well, there are several advantages, but in my opinion, my advantage of this technology is that we are nearly not losing water. So, Everybody knows, I think, that uh, with reverse osmosis, we are losing around 30% of the water we are pumping into the system. So nearly one third of the water we are pumping and we are treating and we are using money to treat, we are just discarding. On top of that, we are discarding that water with all the pollutants inside. So really we are putting the problem in other hands, but we are not eliminating. So with this technology, we are eliminating the problem. So we are converting, transforming the nitrates into nitrogen gas. We are losing only from one to five percent of the of the water we are pumping. And on top of that, our discards, our water that one or five percent of water we are discarding is clean. This water without nitrates. We are not putting the problem in the hands of, of others. The problem is solved, and the and the what the treated what that is there for the for the clients. So. Excellent. I think what the cities are focusing on is not only the capital cost of treating, but then the treatment costs that come along the hunt. And uh, reverse osmosis sort of kicks the problem into someone else's backyard. Exactly. And we've lost a lot of water in the middle. Exactly. I think this has demonstrated that in the city well. And I thank you and Jeff for making this available. And you have made the trip and supported this project over many miles. Thanks, Alex. Thanks, Alex. Thank you, Rick. You, Jeff. Great, David.